let me make sure the microphone is on hi everyone thank you so much for those of you who have already sent me your birthday wishes your um little notes put comments on the page the phone calls the gifts that have been delivered i really appreciate it and i just wanted to let you know that each gesture means a lot i have been kind of kidnapped or um, pulled away this weekend um, from the weekend into today because you know it's now tuesday but there is a time when you have to put connections before calendars and i am someone who i live by my calendar i i know that if i don't put something in my calendar chances are i will forget it or it will get scheduled out by something else and so i make sure i put lots of things in my calendar and from over the weekend until now i've had a number of things that i said okay this is what i'm going to do and i need to get this done but there are times especially in a time like this when a lot of persons are in isolation or they are missing their loved ones because they are far away from them i have the privilege of being surrounded by people who care about me and want to celebrate me and not just for 24 hours or while the cake is fresh um and so sometimes you have to close the calendar and put it aside and just go ahead and focus on the people who are with you and i think i've learned a lot about relationships this in this my oh and i will say um if you don't know today is my birthday and i'm 38 and so i've been spending the past few days and especially today thinking about a lot of the things that i appreciate about my life and about um where i'm going thank you and um there's just so much to appreciate so much to be grateful for to have people who have been able to support me in the direction that i'm going with my life and to have those key relationships that i can focus on during this you know pandemic when a lot of people feel disconnected and so i decided to focus on that because you never know when people are not going to be around or you are not going to be around and so because of that it's so important to prioritize the key people in your life and sometimes that means you're going to put aside other commitments and postpone other things because now is important and you have to um be there for the people who want to be there for you and so i hope that if you don't have a birthday coming up in the next 15 16 days of the year that's left that you will take the time to reflect and identify who are the key people who is the one person that i know has my back and to try and prioritize and spend some time with them um, give them the attention that they deserve show them you appreciate them and enjoy them because a lot of people um, don't have the people around them that they really want to be with and if you can be intentional about cultivating the right relationships with the right people people who can fuel your joy fill up your joy buckets and make you feel like life is worth living that you know it's important to get up and just do your best be your best then those people are very important and it's so important to be with them and um, give them your time yeah so i hope you will do that that's what i'm doing for this whole week because you know a birthday can't just be the day it has to be a week or if you know if you're going extra you go for a whole month so um I've been enjoying my weekend. I've been enjoying my day. I am really, really happy to see 38. And I hope that you are happy about how this year has turned. And if you aren't, that you're going to put some plans in place and make sure that you wrap up the year in a grateful um, mindset, a grateful vibe, that you feel good about where life is going um thank you darling and that you 
enjoy life, enjoy life. Um, it doesn't matter what is happening on the outside. Oh, there's something I should probably tell you. This morning I'm heading out and radio is on and the people on the radio start commenting about the weather. It was um, really heavy rains. We had had lots of snow before. Really heavy rains. You could barely see. There's lots of fog and just seemed like a cloud in front of me as I drive. And they happen to mention that there hasn't been any sun out for the past few days. And in the next few days, we're not going to have any sun. And it just suddenly dawned on me, wait, yeah, I, I haven't seen the sun for a few days and I'm from Portmore. That's Sunshine City. I live for the sun. And so um, I have always said to people, that if there is a day that there is no sunshine, um, I don't feel as energized. I need the sun to feel energized and to be happy. And I didn't recognize that yes <laughs> you big city yes chief um i didn't recognize that um we've gone for maybe four or five days with no sunshine it's been cloudy snowy rainy and then i realized that sometimes your sunshine has to come from within um you have to surround yourself with the kind of people that can make you feel warm and energized and do the things that fuel you that bring you life that make you feel vibrant that make you feel you know grateful focus on the things that you appreciate that's something i've been saying to people a lot focus on the things you appreciate and the things that you can create so that means the things that you have the power to change or the things that you have the power to bring about focus your energies on those things and then you're going to start growing that little bit of sunshine inside you so even when it's stormy outside even when it's cold even when it's dark it's rainy you can feel bubbly you can feel energetic you can feel happy um this morning i was talking with a really close friend who just last night she sent me a uh, not a screenshot but a picture of like a a goals list that I had sent her in 2018 and she was like look you need to celebrate look how many of these things you've accomplished um since you post you sent this to me or whatever and I was like I didn't even remember about this paper but I'd written down my goals and I had you know made the commitments and I'd made my my roadmap and um, been really strategic and spent the time to um work on these things and i'd accomplish them and a whole lot more and i didn't even recognize it but because i had this accountability partner this other person who i had said this is what i want to accomplish in the next one to two years she was able to send it back to me and say hey look at all that you've accomplished you need to celebrate congratulations and um that's 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 what we need to do you know surround yourself with good people fuel your own energy by focusing on the right things the things you appreciate and the things that you can create and third of all set a goal it just needs it doesn't need to be anything grandiose it can be really simple but set a goal come up with a strategic plan pencil it or if you need help ask someone how do i break this down how do i um you know go after this thing set a goal thank you auntie sonia let me make sure i talk thank you to everyone who took the time thanks key um, thanks, Angel. Thanks, Auntie Katie. Um, thanks, Enkishi. Um, and make sure you work at something because when you have a goal that you're working towards and you're making progress, nothing fuels you like that. When you see that you are getting a step closer, that brings you joy. If you don't have anything that you're working on, nothing you're working towards, thanks, Rara. Um, if you have nothing that you're working towards, then life becomes humdrum and you will be swayed by the negativity that's happening around you. But you can, you know, you can cultivate your own sunshine and be joyful despite whatever they say is happening in the world. So that's my little birthday message to you all. Thank you for the love. Um, thank you for the support and I hope you have a fabulous rest of the month. It's the best month of the year. I'm glad I'm privileged to be born in this month and to have my other family members who are born in this month. 
Um, so yeah, enjoy the rest of December and I hope to see you enjoying life in 2021. Um, so bye.